the biochemistry of the blood pH. Human physiology is sensitive to extracellular pH level. A normal blood pH range between 7.35 to 7.45. Arterial blood pH is 7.4 and the venous blood pH is 7.35. A blood pH below 6.9 or above 7.9 would be fatal. And a change of pH of around 0 0.2 in either direction, whether in acidity or alkalinity, should not last for more than a short time or the death would be inevitable. An out-of-range pH will lead to protein that is denatured and digested. An enzyme will cease to function. The cell and the body function will be altered as what we can see in the red blood cell in the middle picture. In the next slide, we will discover the causes of alteration of either in the acid or on the base. And as well, what would be the human line of defense against the blood pH alteration. Alkalinity and acidity of human body are from different sources and basically a byproduct of systemic body function, namely the digestion, the respiration, urination, and various human activities down to biomolecular cellular metabolism. At the left are sources of acid divided into volatile and the non-volatile category. Carbon dioxide and carbonic acid are under volatile category. And the non-volatile are the byproduct of metabolism. Particularly, sources are from the diet. Number one is a phosphoric acid. This is of a phosphorus source. Second is a sulfuric acid from a protein source. The third is the pyruvic acid, a product of a glucose under gluconeogenesis. And fourth is the lactic acid, which is a result of an anaerobic workout that seems to pull in the muscle. Number five is a keto acid, an acetoacetic and hydroxybutyric acid. And number six is an ammonia from a protein source. At the right side are the sources of base. One is a bicarbonate citrate salt of fruit juices. Two is a deamination of amino acid. And three is the biphosphate and acetate formation. Both the metabolic acid and the metabolic base contributes to biochemistry of the blood pH. The normal acid-base physiology. The illustration below depicts a normal acid-base physiology. It will answer the question of where and how does the acid base are being produced, metabolized, and excreted. It all begins from the food or the diet we eat or our intake. Upon digestion and absorption, the food will turn into macromolecules of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. 
In turn, the macromolecules will undergo cellular metabolism. This is for energy production and consumption. Thereafter, waste product will result in two forms. At the left is a carbon dioxide and at the right is the hydrogen ion or the hydronium or the proton. During the acid-base alteration, or even during the normal acid-base physiology, there are three ways that our body will compensate. And that is by setting up the line of defenses. The first is the buffer system. The second is the respiratory mechanism. And the third the renal mechanism. Buffer is an important process in the regulation of pH. Being the first line of defense, it will resist the chains in pH. It will convert the strong acid and the base to a weaker one. Carbon dioxide at the left will bind with water and hydrogen ion at the right will bind with the bicarbonate. Thus, this will produce the buffer system mechanism including the carbonic acid and the bicarbonate. Carbon dioxide is excreted or being released through respiratory mechanism, this being the second line of defense. It is then the function of the respiratory system to exchange carbon dioxide to oxygen through the lungs via inspiration and expiration. On the other hand, at the right side, Hydrogen ion is being excreted and dumped through the renal mechanism as the third line of defense. And it is then the function of the renal system to excrete hydrogen as it binds with ammonia and the phosphate through urine upon micturation or urination. And as an end result, the exhaled carbon dioxide at the left bottom will have a pH of 5.2 to 5.8. And the excreted urine at the right bottom will have a pH of 5.8 to 6.2. And as nurses, the normal values of acid base shall never be forgotten. And we must commit it to our memory that pH has a normal value of 7.35 to 7.45. The partial pressure of carbon dioxide 38 to 42 millimeter of mercury. And the partial pressure of oxygen is 38 to 42 millimeter of mercury with the bicarb in the range of 22 to 26 MEQ per liter. This whole physiology explains the biochemistry taking place from the food we eat to cellular metabolism until the body waste product excretion or disposal in the light of acid-base balance regulatory mechanism. Once again, we have reached the end of discussion. I hope this material is of help. Let us assess and check for comprehension. You may pause the video for a good glance. Good luck and enjoy studying. That's all folks. This has been your nurse Rajalohiko Guru saying thank you for watching and enjoy studying.